How many legends fit under one dome? This is the story of Hagia Sophia, home to two great religions, empires and legends with its 15 centuries old history. Still standing tall despite earthquakes, wars and countless raids. Let's delve into the history of Hagia Sophia together. It was constructed in 360 AD by Constantius II to become the memorial church of the Byzantine Empire. However, the first Hagia Sophia, built of wood, burned to the ground during the riots in 404 AD. The second Hagia Sophia was built 11 years later in 415, in the same place by Theodosius II, this time using marble. But this structure was also destroyed during the Nika riots, which caused vast destruction across the city. This magnificent structure we see today was commissioned for construction in 537 by Justinian, who wanted to immortalize his name through the largest temple in the world, and was completed in a matter of five years. The secret to this amazing pace was the fact that the columns and marble used were brought from important temples of Anatolia. How these stones were transported to Istanbul remains a mystery. Hagia Sophia was going to suffer two major earthquakes at that time. The main dome, damaged in the 557 earthquake, collapsed completely in the 558 major Istanbul earthquake. After four years of restoration, the iconic dome was elevated by six meters and reinforced. Let's take a closer look at the dome, which has been home to legends. The dome rises 55 meters above the ground, that is, as tall as an 18-floor apartment. It is about 32 meters in diameter. A physicist and a mathematician were commissioned to bring this dome of unprecedented scale and height to life, which Byzantine builders described as impossible architecture. The emperor, extremely pleased with the stunning result and mesmerized before his creation, called out to King Solomon, who owned the greatest temple of the time, O Solomon, I have surpassed thee. So, how did Hagia Sophia, which witnessed the conquest that ended an era while starting another, reach its present glory? The conquest of Istanbul changed the entire fate of Hagia Sophia and that era. Hagia Sophia, which was on the verge of losing its skyline, would become the new home of the Ottoman and Islamic culture with the conquest. In the memoirs of Evlevia Celebi, it is stated that the Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror recited the first call to prayer at Hagia Sophia, which was reopened as a mosque within three days at his command. Hagia Sophia soon recovered from its ruins caused by the looting and pillage it was subject to and reclaimed its days of glory with Sinan the architect, the chief architect of the Ottoman Empire and one of the world's first earthquake engineers. In addition to the minaret built under the reign of Mehmet the Conqueror, three additional minarets were erected with the signature of Sinan the architect. The eight calligraphic rondals with diameters of 7.5 meters commonly associated with the Hagia Sophia, bore the signature of Sultan Abdul Mejid. The gilded rondelles were calligraphed by the greatest calligrapher of the period, Kaz Asker Mustafa Izet Effendi, and his students between 1847 and 1849. Restoration activities of the structure were initiated once again, in 1930, on the orders of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. As the plasters were scraped, the majestic mosaics resurfaced. It was reopened to visitors in 1935 and became a world-famous museum over the years, welcoming more than three million tourists every year. Very recently, in 2020, following the vigorous efforts of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Hagia Sophia reopened its doors as a mosque and was gifted to Muslims all over the world. You are now part of the story of Hagia Sophia, reminiscent of our unique history with the countless legends and tremendous memories of the past experienced under its dome. If you want to bear witness to this history, Hagia Sophia is waiting for you.